really a feature. If you think about it, something that we don't always love doing, the best part of driving isn't parking. Uh, so the park pilot within this car is highly advanced. It will execute both parallel and perpendicular parking. It can, it can park per perpendicularly. I shouldn't say that perfectly. <coughs> it can do it either nose in or nose out. And it will ask you, obviously, which direction you would like to park. And then if you've parked using the park pilot, when you go to exit, it will execute the exit for you as well, either right, left, forward, backwards. It's really a pretty amazing piece. We'll probably have a chance to try it out, so it, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, some guidance on that, just give it a shot. So, a couple of other features which are really impressive with our pre-safe system. So, pre-safe sound, this is a new feature which uh, we've got a nice video for, and uh, I'll let the video play and we'll explain uh, kind of how that works. So, again, uh, uh, something we hope you never use, but what you just heard was pre-safe sound. So what we've done is we've actually done a lot of study to figure out, okay, how can we help you better prepare for an accident? And there's actually a muscle in the, it's the stapedius muscle. It's the smallest muscle in the human body, and it's in the inner ear. And when it's stimulated, it actually closes off slightly, and it limits the sound waves that will enter the ear canal and, and would possibly uh, damage your hearing. So what we do is just before an impact, we put a sound that comes out through the, the sound system. It's, it's kind of a pink noise is what it is technically. And this sound stimulates the stapedius reflex, which then limits the damaging sound waves that make it and could possibly damage your hearing from the impact. So that's it from airbags, impact, all those things. So we're using the human body's own reflexes to protect you. So another piece of technology, again, hope you never have a chance to use it, but it's there to protect you. So really great additions to pre-save. The next one is another great addition for our pre-safe system, and this is called pre-safe impulse side. Side impact collisions are the most deadly collisions you can have simply because the, the space to absorb energy is so limited. So one of the things that we figured out is that if we can both move you closer to the center line of the vehicle before a side impact, as well as pre-accelerating you, so that means your body's moving at the time of the impact, you'll see this illustrated here. So the car, the seat, there's an airbag, an air bladder in the seat, pushes you almost three inches closer to the center line of the vehicle just before a side impact. And that way you're moved closer to the center line, center line away from the impact force, and at the same time your body is pre-accelerated. So the reduction in impact forces on your torso is about 30%. So this is real, uh, you know, obviously huge advances in terms of what we can do in terms of keeping you safe inside a car because a side impact is really a scary thing. So something that, that's what these new radar sensors that look out to the side, this is the, this is the feature that this supports. So a couple of other just uh, uh, pieces of technology. This is uh, another standard feature, our active brake assist. This is essentially the forward collision warning system. We have this in nearly every Mercedes now. So every Mercedes has a radar sensor and it's always looking forward to support you if for some reason you're driving around, typically low speed, this is when these accidents happen. Maybe you're driving in town and you're distracted for just one second and a car in front of you stops quickly. And that happens like that and an impact is just, you know, it, it's, that's the all, always the outcome. In this case, you would first get a visual warning, then an audible warning, and then the car could autonomously stop itself. Let's say for some reason you even started to touch the brakes. Typically what we find is people don't brake hard enough soon enough. The car will actually bring braking up to the level to at least, uh, in the best case, uh, avoid the accident and then alternatively at least mitigate the damage. So it will support you in your braking maneuver or it will autonomously brake you. So this is a great, uh, a great system to have to support you. So another... Uh, Steering assistant, another piece that we've advanced further based on the steering assist system we have in the car is if you initiate an invasive steering maneuver, the car will actually support you in that maneuver. So that's uh, just the warning signal that you have that comes along with it, but we'll just look at it again. You see this person obviously not paying attention, and as you initiate that maneuver, that invasive maneuver, the car will add steering torque to allow you to complete that easier. So it will give you the steering torque to steer you out of the way and then return to the center line. So an advancement that goes on top of the electric steering and the, and the uh, steering assistant that we have that supports you in, during uh, Distronic while you're uh, on the highway, that same maneuver, that same system can support you in the evasive maneuver. So really a, a, another nice piece that, uh, that supports you. Now, 
One thing that we look to now as we're advancing our safety systems, many of these things are going on the visual horizon. Think about radar, cameras, everything works as far as you can see. But the biggest advance we look for going forward is the telematics horizon and car to X communication. So the, the E-Class will be the first car that's able to communicate with other E-Classes and communicate possible dangerous situations. And then those cars can go back and forth. And what we look for the future is E-Classes will be able to do this and then uh, future Mercedes models. And we look forward to when the entire automotive industry is able to communicate dangerous situations, push that up to the cloud, and then could communicate that to certain cars within a, let's say, the relevant zone that they could be helped by that. So that's the way that the system will work. But it's interesting, it will work not only as an automatic feature, but it will work where also an E-Class driver, there's a setting where you can basically send out a message for a potential dangerous situation that will go up to the cloud and then would be communicated out to other cars. So it's both user uh, activated as well as something that's automatically activated. So that's car to X communication, really a, a neat thing and the potential for this uh, technology is, is uh, unlimited. When you say will do that, it doesn't do it now. Uh, we have it coming shortly after launch. Okay. And the, the best part about it is a feature that is, uh, is updated over the air. Uh, so it's something that all cars will get once the technology is, is uh, turned on. How, what, what can the car react to another e I, I think uh, ultimately what you could be, you'd say, uh, like if ESP is triggered, a uh, slippery, let's say you're driving over an ice patch and ESP is triggered, that's the kind of thing that could go up to the cloud and then come out to other cars that are on that same path. Uh, but there, it's really, we're still developing it, but it's, it's really unlimited if you think about how many things that you can communicate. And you have to, obviously we don't want to go too far with it because you don't want to be distracted by all these things. But uh, having that information about, let's say, a potential an ice patch or a crash in the road, road construction, all those kind of things could be really helpful uh, to support you in, in, uh, in driving. Now, how does that work for considering the feds and the...